What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and today we're going to work on TRX suspension system. Today's video will be on back and wrist training. I have made similar video about uh, shoulder stability. We got this variation of TRX in December and I have been working on it constantly every week at least two times. All my guys have been working and all our shoulders have been improved. This is really awesome tool to strengthen and st stabilize your shoulders. Arm sling is really, really taking on your shoulders. All the pulling on the inside movements, everything else, you need to have strong shoulders. You need to train your upper back, your traps, your rear delts. So this is really crucial to staying healthy, to staying strong for longer times. If you have had problems where after the tournaments you will feel pain in your shoulders and you cannot do a lot of things just because your shoulder are hurting, you need to get this one. Uh, this is a cheaper version, but it's really good. I have seen a lot of shitty ones. I put some links on the description where you can buy these uh, cheaper than it's just normal TRX suspension system. If you can afford normal, uh, high quality TRX suspension system, then buy it. It will be a good investment. You can do a lot of things here and I will show a lot of exercises. In today's video, we're going to work on our back and our fingers. So let's say we're doing back pull. We're pulling someone back, dragging like this. You can drag him as long as your fingers hold. So it doesn't matter if your back is strong enough, your, if your back is too strong, you will open up your own wrist. Here, we can train this position, also working, activating our shoulders in a position that's close to arm sling. For this, we will use fat grips. If you don't have fat grips or any kind of fatter grips, uh, I put some links down where you can buy these. Every arm wrestler should have at least one pair of these or, or any brand to work on different things. We can do three variations of this exercise. How you can do this first will be isometrics for your arm dynamic for your back so we're gonna take in a cup grip like this the higher you put your legs the more tension you will get so i'm straightening out my shoulders are out i'm pulling my shoulders back and my arms to the side like this so i'm doing this with my wrist bent like this. So it's create isometric stress on my wrist. So my wrist is working. So it creates, it creates stress on your wrist. Your wrist gets used to the dragging position, to everything else that's coming, the force that's coming through. Second, we're gonna work on dynamic. I'm taking full grip. I'm really squeezing fat grips together. And as I'm pulling myself up, I will rotate or curl my arms inwards. So just from few times, my forearms are already burning. This is really awesome thing to do. So the first one will teach you how to drag your opponent, how to hold the weight that's coming through your wrist, your fingers. Second, will let you curl him, pull him. For third exercise, we're gonna put our arms in supinated position, like this. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna curl my wrist all the way out. I'm just gonna leave straight like this this creates more tension on your biceps and your fingers so this variation is more beneficial if you're fighting in a hook style in a drag hook style so again your fingers and your biceps gets used to the position so in arm wrestling, when we're doing drag movements, it's really crucial to have strong fingers, to have fingers and your back working together. So they understand the movement that you're doing. If uh, we, I have seen this so many times, it has been a problem for me that when I'm dragging, I'm opening myself up. To change that, this exercise can help you a lot. Also, all the work it does on your upper back, pulling your shoulders back, pulling, uh, putting you in a right position, a right posture. It's really awesome. Thank you guys for watching. A lot of more exercises on TRX suspension systems are coming soon and uh, see you next time.